What I'd like to show you here is the uh, structural package that's within Plant 3D. Now this can be used to create what we call Piper Steel. So it's detailed steel but not showing the connection details, the notching, the things that you'd expect to go right down when you're producing the fabrication side of things. So it's there purely for coordination, for help you to route, clash detection free, etc. Um, and put it all in this in one environment so when you're routing pipework, placing the equipment, you know that you've got that clash free environment. So what I'd like to do is just show you how we do this. So if I go into the steel and create a new steel drawing and we'll just call this steel one two three etc select OK and that's now opened a nice new drawing uh, we've now gone into the ribbon and you'll see that the tab structure is now open so what we can do in here is start to generate the steel work so to start off with if we're doing a nice platform is using this grid wizard if we select that you'll see there I can call it platform one and it's actually got two axis levels that's the two columns going uh, on its width and it's got three rows if we want more values or rows and etc you just put a common and another value and this is just how it's going to be tagged in the model and the platform you see it's got two platform levels a four meter and an eight meter and if I select create you can see what I mean by that it's actually two with three rows and two platforms one at four meter and eight meter with the zero zero starting like so so what we can do now is using this line work which we'll probably delete later is actually populate that with some members okay so if you look into the members uh, and look into the settings of that you can see in here we've actually got um, some member shapes in there and obviously you can just change that to suit once you've got a member that you want and the size etc note the justification that it's center point at the moment you can specify what material and grade if that is obviously this all helps when you're scheduling this out once you've completed the structure you can now select OK and what now we can do is using the standard AutoCAD snap commands is literally go around and populate this frame with members of the steel selected and you can see that it is it's quite detailed steel work in there okay so I'm just going to carry on generating that just using the standard snap commands like so I'll just create another vertical member and just one round the back so obviously if you're doing cross bracing you can just change the uh, the members that you're using and just again use the snaps to generate the cross bracing between the endpoints etc um, so that's a very crude uh, members using on this platform you'll see that they're actually all crossing each other but we can actually use some of these cutting features so we can lengthen members uh, trim members etc to get it into more accurate lengths so when we're scheduling out we get a more accurate representation of the platform itself so I'm just going to leave it like that for now just to speed up this demo for you um, but what the next thing I'd like to do is really put some platforming on there so I can use the plate command again if looking at the, the little setup wizard here we can actually select grating or a plate so I'm going to leave it at a grating we can specify the material used, how thick that material is, uh, some hatching to show you on a representation of that there is some plate on there, how it's justified, so we're going to leave it to bottom so it sits on top of that steel work we've just generated, and then what shape we're going to make so we can create it off a new rectangle, a new polyline, or an existing polyline, which is great if you put in curved platforming around a, a vessel, etc. So I'll hit create, and then I can just simply select using the AutoCAD commands just uh, two points across there and there's the platforming in and again I can create another one at the the lower level like so so there's two platforms which is great now so we can put some equipment on there um, you can see if you've got access to valves etc for maintenance and things like that and operation so that's great so now the next thing we need to do is look at the putting some cat ladder in on there which is using this command up here again looking at the settings of that you can actually specify the ladder, the steelwork that the ladder's made from, you can specify that, the heights of the runs, etc. The the cage itself, you can uh, put dimensions and the parametric side of that there uh, and select OK. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. If you select a point there and just go up to a perpendicular point up there and then it's literally the off stand from the steel that you want. So let's say we come in there. So there we've actually got a nice cat ladder with a full cage drawn by three simple clicks 
if we now spin this round I'm going to do something similar for the, uh, for some stairs again select stairs go into the settings again risings and goings you can specify you can specify the step itself uh, and the shape that's being used to create that steel stairway so I can then again select OK and I say I want stairs coming from this point and I want to come up to there it return OK simple stairs done now obviously if you're doing platforms you need platform and say around the six meter level to meet uh, safety regulations you'd have to draw that platform in first but this is just to show you how quick and easy it is to get the uh, the stairways in there okay so so to complete this really just need some railings around there again quick look at the settings you can define the safety rails the the space in between them again what profile it's being used etc etc and again I'm just going to take the default use the snap commands again just go around this structure uh, ignoring the opening for the cat ladder just for this purpose do that and as you can see now we're actually getting some nice hand railing in there which is great for full coordination etc um, now this is now ready for coordination we can clash detects against that they're all solid objects but a nice feature is actually we can SDNF this out to other applications so you might want to SDNF this out into the AutoCAD structural detailer or into Revit structure and move this design on further to, to bring uh, the the structural detailing element in of the notching of these connection plates etc so all this can now be uh, brought out of here etc um, just looking at what else we can do with this we've actually got all sorts of schedules we can bring out of this now as you can see these are some of the structural members that we drew, drew. you can see this plate sizes required some of the details of the lengths for the the railings and sizes so you can start seeing we can start populating this and getting information out of the system which is what we're really after